Then we come to my favourite thing ever in the whole entire world at the moment, that's the Estee Lauder um, EB Glow uh, Double Wear All Day. Should we start that again? We should start that again. <laughs> Obviously being on holiday means I'm not really going to wear makeup very much, but I'm taking a couple of things that I really, really love for, for the evening, for up for dinner and things like that. So I'm going to show you what I've got. So this is my makeup bag. Um, it is from Links of London. I've had it for about three or four years now. Obviously I don't think I'm going to be taking it in this. I think it still has to be in clear packaging like I said in my wash bun, but it just looks nicer in this for you lot rather than a plastic bag. I'm just going to pick things out as I come to them and then and show you them basically okay I said I'm not taking very much but actually looking in here there's quite a bit but it's all like basic stuff anyway so first thing is the Carmex moisturising lip balm obviously being in the sun you do need to keep your lips hydrated um, and this is my favourite lip balm at the moment so obviously this is coming with me I actually got this in a glossy box next is Mac the Match Perfection um, concealer by Rimmel London. I have it in the shade Ivory 010. This is currently my favourite concealer. It's just perfect for just under the eyes. Even if you don't want to wear anything else, it's just really nice on its own just to hide the bits that you want to hide. And it's also got a highlight in it as well, so I just use it down the bone of my nose and on my forehead a little bit just to highlight. Then we come to my favourite thing ever in the whole entire world at the moment, and it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear All Day Glow BB Cream. I love this. This is perfect for a holiday. BB creams are so much easier to use and you don't really want a high coverage anywhere when you're on holiday because you're going to have a tan so you're not really going to need a full coverage. Um, but it's just nice to just uh, again hide the bits you want to hide and just to give your skin tone just a bit more of an even finish. And this is literally my best friend at the moment. And it also has SPF 30 in it which is great for when you're out in the sunshine. That's actually a really high SPF I think for a BB cream. I haven't seen one with 30 years ago before. Next, I come to Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. Like I said, and you all know, I love the matte finish, and this is currently my favourite powder. I have actually got it in two shades. I've got it in the light shade, which is my current shade, which is um, Peach Glow 03, and I've also got it in, hold on a sec, this shade, which is uh, Silky Beige 05, so it's two shades darker. I don't know if you can really tell a massive difference. I mean, I don't really tan amazingly well, so I'm, I'm not really going to need much of a different powder shade, but I can hope, right? But these don't come out too different anyway, so even if I'm this is slightly too dark for me, it's not going to be too obvious. The next thing I pull out is the Garnier Roll-On Anti-Dark Circles. I absolutely love this. This is so refreshing in the morning. Just under my eyes, it just wakes my eyes up. Even if I'm not going to be wearing makeup during the day, I'll always put this on under my eyes. It just wakes up your eyes. Foundation Primer from Laura Mercier. As you know, I've literally just got this if you've watched my last video, but I've used it every day since I've had it and I am in love with it. And I, I just can't resist not taking it. I have to take it with me. And in hot weather, you always need a primer, right? The next thing I've put out is um, a MAC blush. This is in Mocha and it's a MAC blush. It's just a gorgeous rosy pink. Oh, I've actually put it on right now. <laughs> this will come to no surprise that I am taking my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Look, I think I need to get a new one soon. Look at that. It's clearly my favourite shade, right? This caters for every need and for every occasion, so... Next is my eyebrow pencil. It's by Isla. I can never say this. But it's got the um, brush on the end and then the pencil on the other end. Um, I use this every day to... I don't really use the pencil as much, but I use the brush every day just to shape my eyebrows a little bit. Um, and this is in the shade... It's faded off. Medium to, medium to dark blonde. And <coughs> staying on the eyebrows, I'm also taking the Gimme Brow just to set my eyebrows. This again is real with me. We now have bronzer. Hopefully I'm not really going to need this. This is the Bare Minerals Duo. Uh, it's got a bronzer and a luminizer in it. Um, the bronzer is the high, high dive and the uh, like illuminator one is the long 
the long weekend. I absolutely love this. This side is a matte bronzer and this side has a bit of a shimmer. So for nights out, you can use this one, or I like to mix them together, or just for during the day, like a really subtle look, you can just use the matte one. I love this, it's really subtle, it's really gentle on my skin. It's the first bronzer like, that I've found that doesn't make me orange, apart from the um, collections Blonde Bronze Glow which is right next to me. These two are my favourite but I'm taking this one with me. This is also really nice because it has the mirror so it's really practical for travelling. Next is the lipstick that I'm taking with me and it's Girl About Town which you've all seen before. It's Max Bright Fuchsia. Love this lipstick and it's probably going to melt even more than it already has so maybe I should put it in the fridge for a bit before I take it but that work? I don't know. <laughs> Next is another lip product, it's Jelly Pong Pong Pong. It is a lip um, it's a moisturising lip stain. It's almost like the um, is it Clarins did that do the chubby sticks? It's like that. Um, but it's in shade does it tell me what shade it is? I don't think it does. No. It's a red. Um, and I just find this so much easier to use to, to apply red lipstick. And because it's a stain also it stays in place. So again, perfect for your holiday when you just can't be to worry about it, just pop it on and forget. So much easier to apply as well, it's really, really, really accurate. Accurate? A accurate. Accurate. It goes where you want it to, basically. And then, last but not least, in here, I've got the Volume Million Lashes Waterproof. It's the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes mascara. I got it in the waterproof because you need waterproof mascara when you're on holiday and I have used this a couple of times already. I have, I did buy it especially for my holiday um, but I wanted to give it a go just to see what it was like and it's amazing. I used to have, I did use the non-waterproof version of this before and I wasn't too keen on it but everyone had told me to try the waterproof so I have and I really like it and I've actually got it on my lashes at the moment. It just separates my lashes really, really nicely and keeps them in place. And also, I found the waterproof keeps my eyelashes curl curled a lot easier, um, and that's why I like it so much. And that's everything that I'm taking. So actually, it's not really that much. It's your basics, the things that you really, really need. Well, do you really, really need? Maybe I don't really, really need, but I'm taking it anyway. Yes. As you're watching this, I'm currently on an aeroplane. So hope well, hopefully if the scheduling has worked, then I'm currently on an aeroplane while this goes live. So um, wish me luck, because I'm probably scared for my life because flying absolutely terrifies me. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what your holiday makeup essentials are, I'd love to see. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, links will be down below as always, same with my blog. Don't forget to check out my blog for more photos about my previous video, the My Little Box Beauty Box, I really think. Some of you are going to really, really love that. Um, there's more pictures in detail on there, so make sure you head over there to take a look at that. And I will speak to you on Thursday. Bye-bye!